Hey guys, how's it going? Jake Noggle here. Um, so today we're going to talk about how to make money as a studio musician. Um, there's a couple of ways. Most people think that you need to, you know, uh, know a studio owner um, that will basically give you a call whenever an artist needs a, you know, a recording of your services on their track. Um, and so that's one way to do it. The problem that I have with that is there's a lot of competition um, and there's not really a huge marketplace for that. So there's not as many, well, you know, here in my city and, you know, many other states and a lot of people across the world, you have to go to a studio and pay studio time, which is really expensive. And then you have to pay for um, the musician's time that's there, which can be very expensive as well. Um, and so when you add both of those together, it's just not something that you're, I mean, it still happens. I mean, if you go to like Nashville or, you know, out to California or Texas, some of those bigger areas. Um, but basically the way that I've uh, been able to do studio work, and I do studio work every single day, I have, I have clients all over the world um, that will uh, you know, pay for my services and I'll record drums to their track and then I'll um, balance all the files and then I send all the, all the files to them and then I get paid. Um, and the way that works is there's three websites um, that you can get started for free, it doesn't cost you anything. The first one that uh, I use is called Fiverr. And Fiverr's, uh, it's used for a lot of different things. A lot of people go on there and hire people to, you know, like edit photos or, um, you know, provide an ebook cover. There's tons of different things. Um, anything you can think of, graphic design, all that type of stuff. And there's also musicians on there. So you can create a profile, uh, set your prices. You can, you know, there's packages that you can put together where, you know, people can add things on, you know, if they want to use it for commercial use and stuff like that. Um, and Fiverr is a really good way of, of, of starting out and there's a, it's a huge marketplace, it's global, there's tons of people, millions of people that go on there every single day. The second website is called AirGigs. AirGigs is specifically for uh, musicians, um, so you're not going to find anyone on there that does graphic design or anything like that. Um, and a cool thing with AirGigs is you can set your own price and they don't take as big as a percentage as, as Fiverr does, um, which is nice. And then the third website, uh, is called Sound Better. I haven't made any money on Sound Better, but I mean, it doesn't mean it doesn't work. I have tons of musician friends that are on there and have accounts and they get gigs all the time. Um, it's probably just my profile. I need to update it and, and do a more marketing for it. But um, so yeah, basically those are the three websites that you can get started. Uh, there are other ones, but those are the three main ones that I would recommend uh, where you can get started. You can create an account, you know, upload some of your work. And so what, what I love about it is you're connecting with people all around the world. Um, and you're providing a service and something that you love to do, um, something that you're passionate about. So yeah, hopefully you like this video, hopefully you found some value in that. If you have any questions or, or anything that would give me an idea to make a, a video about, um, you know, please comment below. Other than that, I'll put the links in the description so you can check out the websites um, and just see how they are. And uh, good luck to you and, uh, and we'll see you on the next video.